Hi, I'm Tom Stickney, and as we continue on talking about rough, I want to talk to you about the super down deep lie in rough and what to do with that. Well, as you can see, this ball is sitting way down, and it's going to be very difficult for me to extract that ball out of there. Now, sometimes you have to take your licks. This can see we were good, good ways from the green. I have to go ahead and get it up there because it's a par five, and I hit it in trouble off the tee, and I punch it over here in trouble again and I want to get it up close to the green or on the green. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Well, the first thing you have to do is make sure that you don't take too much club. How do you know how the ball is going to come out of the rough, whether you hit a three iron or a seven iron? Well, that's from practice. So you need to spend some time practicing these shots to figure out what you can and can't get away with. The second thing you need to do, the only thing I can do to add a little bit of distance to this, out of this super deep lie, is to open the club just a little bit. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ball back in my stance a little bit. I'm going to open the blade just a little bit and that's going to add just a little bit of loft and all I'm going to do is set the club so I can chop down on it. So ball's a little bit further back, open the blade, set the club so I can chop down on it. Here we go. Ball back, open the blade, set and chop. And sometimes that's about all you can do out of the rough. You can see that ball came out low and squirting, and it, hopefully it chased up on the green. That's about all I can hope for. Sometimes the lie gets you in trouble. But remember, if you can open that club base a little bit, you can gouge down on it just a little bit more and pop it up with just a little bit more loft.